on my way to the D's and GWS Clash. It is absolutely freezing. Got the jacket and a hoodie. Not sure whether it will suffice or not. Um, City MCC. Better get there right on time to be honest. There's a little bit of traffic which has done me dirty again. But MCC, MCG. I reckon Saturday the 210 traditional time slot, I know it's the 1.45, but it's the 2.10's time slot is as good as it gets, so um, super keen and um, yeah, pumped, come on these. So just rocked up to the G and just like in round two, Toby Green's walked one in for a snag, George, that's not the ideal start. No, it isn't. But I've forgotten, to be honest, that um, that we've actually played the Giants in round three or two. Round, uh, round two, I reckon. Two, yeah, yeah. So I've completely forgotten that we've actually played them before. So yeah, Toby Green so did that. Yeah, yeah. In Canberra, and walked on in. Yeah, yeah. So expect a similar game, mate. <laughs> Who are you tipping today? Obviously the D's. Yeah, I, I, I want a big result. So do I. But I, I just feel like it's not that game, though. Um, I'm going to go the D's by 38. Yeah. 38, okay, I'm gonna go 22. All right, just to be safe, but. Yeah, he just says the dance. Who knows? Hopefully, we just Hopefully it's not just as tight don't. as last week, yeah, which exactly. is a bit hectic. <laughs> oh, yo! Yes, Cozzy! Yeah. Slow start, the Giants were all over us, but Cozzy's answered back. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, no, Cozzy's playing well. Intercept possessions and with Yeah, intercept. good intercept. Brought it to ground level. Tommy Mack got it. Kicked it over the top to him. Happy days. Similar start to what he had round two this year. He kicked two of their first against us. He's had one touch, one goal. Milked a little cheeky high free kick. Toby Green lining up for his second. Oh, it's coming Jeez, he's a gun. <laughs> Jeez, he's a gun. Quarter time at the G and <laughs> it is the D's down by five points. Took a bit to get going that turn and I don't know. Oh, I feel like they're a little bit sluggish for the 145 clash. They're not playing out of their skin the way I was hoping they would. George, how have you seen it, mate? Yeah, it's just, I mean, probably it's going to be a bit congested for maybe the first half, maybe the second quarter might open up, but um, I don't know. It's a bit of a weird game at the moment. The lights are on. If you haven't noticed, the lights are on at 2 o'clock in the hour, mate. <laughs> but um, I don't know. I reckon there'll be a bit of spark. Gorney will fire them up, but yeah, it's a good feeling. We, we usually start games like this, to be honest. Yeah. Like, we're usually behind in the first term, sometimes even by two or three goals. So we're down by five points. They usually get a bit of a wriggle on in the second term, so hopefully they can turn it on a little bit. But it's not the best start. Trailing by five to GWS at quarter time. Got a lift. Come on, Dean. Taranto sneaks home a beauty to start the second term. Silence over the MCC. How has he snuck that through from the contest? Dee's trailing by a couple of kicks now. Cal Ward to extend the Giants lead. High tackle given away from Lever. Oh, slots it. D's are on the back foot. Toby Green is taking the piss. That's three. Got it. Oh no. Toby Green kicks his third. The lead's out to three goals and it's just, it's not working. It's not working. g is playing good footy though. We're lucky enough to be within three goals, to be honest. The Why can't going. we verse them when they play <laughs> the way they played against North and Hawthorne? Yeah. So fun. I knew we'd get the best oh. GWS today. It's getting absolutely beaten in every facet of the game so far. Alex Neil Bullen needs to kick this, to be honest, because it has been a stinker of a start. D's on the back foot this whole half. Need this, oh. Neil Bullen. Yes! Come on, D's! Come on! Half time here at the G, the D's trail by 18 points, just sluggish, slow, GWS all over them to be completely honest. A late little flurry, we, we had a couple inside 50s, a couple of shots on goal late but couldn't capitalise and uh, it just sort of feels like one of those days where they just don't turn up which I thought those sort of afternoons were dead and buried. But apparently not, George. Are we panicking yet? Uh, maybe halfway through the third quarter. 
Well, Red's if they're four goals up or something, that's when maybe the alarm bells are ringing, but I don't know. You know what I'm feeling? Yep. I don't know if you remember, or if, you, if people out there remember, that game where we, round one against GWS, 20, I could be wrong. 2017. 17, yeah, where we piled on goals in the first quarter, couldn't kick one for a whole half, yeah. second and third quarter, and then we just overran them and like one by like four yeah, points in Jack was Jesse, Jesse yeah, Hogan. A spoil from Hogan in our yeah. uh, defensive end. We, we, I'm feeling that at the moment. We oh, always no. seem to have close games against us, to be fair. Like even yeah. our last couple, uh, the game at the Gabba, in essentially an elimination final where Trent Rivers kicked the winner um, up in Canberra. We sort of controlled it like the way they're controlling it for yeah. a whole game and won by three or four goals. So um, they're always tight, but it's just frustrating to be behind the ledger at this point in the game. Yeah. I reckon we need a key forward in. I reckon a Ben Brown or Weed. We just need them for the structure. I know Weed wasn't putting on goals, but he was doing everything but that. And I know that Ben Brown was sort of only putting on goals, but not really doing anything else. But I just think structurally, we need to keep forward. Second half about to kick off. Dee's trail by three goals. Come on. Big second term. Come on, Dee. Oh. Start of the third. Petrarca, good intercept mark. Lining up directly in front. It's a non-negotiable. Come on. Come on, track. Come it's on. It's quiet. It is. Because <laughs> we're all holding our breaths. Oh, no. no. Frida loves slotting them from the boundary. We are we're starting to get a little bit of control on the game. We need this. Beautiful. Yes! yes! Frida from the pocket. Come on, Dees. Cosy gets involved. Long ball forward to Fridge. Come on, Dees. Left. He's a left footer. He should. Should finish. Oh my god! Missed multiple chances that second term. Tracks kick missed one from directly in front. Fritters missed one. Chances going begging here in the third. Emil Berg lining up for two in a row for the Giants. The D's have struggled to get two in a row all day. It's one of them days at the G. How does this happen? I just don't understand. Three quarter time here at the G. The D's trailed by 17 points. The Giants were a little bit too good in that term. We couldn't quite get a run on, which is frustrating because we are in desperate need of that to get over the line. All comes down to this. They got a fire up. It's going to be a tough ask from here. I don't know if they've got it in them. It'll be impressive if they can get home, but the Giants have been too good up until three quarter time. This will be massive. Come on, Dees. All comes down to this. We need the perfect last term. Been all Dees. Started this last. We just need that first one to get us going. Come on, Frida. Slotted a beauty from the other end. Come on. Yeah. Come on! Come on, Dees! Whitfield slotted one from the boundary, and we're trying to answer back again. Bailey Fridge lining up. We cannot get consecutives though. We need this, Fritter. Oh, oh, it's in yeah. Yes! Come on, Tees! Back to eight points. Ten minutes into the last. We can't get consecutives. You feel like if we kick the next, the momentum will swing. We need a big clearance. Eight points. Biggest clearance of the match. Come on, Dees! Come on, Neil! For sure. So many chances in this last quarter. There's only a couple minutes to go, and it looks like the Giants are going to hold on. We've had shot after shot after shot. We just haven't taken any chances. Oh. What a frustrating day at the office. We've lost to a side that couldn't compete with North Melbourne. Oh. Ah. Just one of them days at the G. Um, yeah, just beaten by a better side who couldn't beat Hawthorne or North Melbourne. So it's frustrating that uh, GWS brought their best today, which I expected that they would, to be honest. They're a very good side on their, on their day and their 
probably a little bit better than where they're sitting at the ladder. But, um, yeah, if we could play the way we played in that last term for four quarters, we would obliterate sides. But we don't, and we leave sides in it, or we keep ourselves out of it, and yeah, just frustrating. Just <laughs> I can't believe what a witness. It was sort of a Melbourne of old sort of performance, which was a little bit frustrating. Um, probably a good thing you don't play bottom eight sides in the finals, otherwise I think we'd be having a pretty swift exit. Um, but yeah, just gonna go home, lick my wounds, and <laughs> come back in a couple of weeks time and hopefully we perform a little bit better it's quite funny I'm still confident with us um, against like a Port Adelaide on Thursday night football we seem to rise to those occasions but the 145 at the MCG we don't um, yeah pretty pretty poor well that is it for another game day vlog guys I appreciate all the support I appreciate everyone watching. The D's got rolled by a couple of kicks against the Giants. I'm absolutely freezing on the walk to the car, so I'm gonna get into the car, chuck the heater on, and um, yeah, go home and drown my sorrows. <laughs> anyway, guys, I appreciate people watching. I appreciate all the support, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Cheers.